Well, good evening, everyone. I'm glad to see y'all came out tonight. Uh, we're here for a time of worship, a time of praise, and a time of just a good time with the Lord and uh, coming together. And uh, I want to open it with a prayer, and I'm going to let Mr. Dave come and, and lead us along, see what happens. Okay? Right. Let's bow together. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the day. We thank you for the love and grace you showed upon us today. And Father, we ask now that you come and bless this time together as we have this time of praise and worship. And Father, we just ask that you would bless each and every one of us. And Father, and, and just help draw us closer to thee. For everything we do, Father, is for your honor and your glory. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. We are here for one reason and one reason only tonight, and that is to lift up the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. His name is above all names, and he is worthy of our praise tonight. And so I'm going to start with a song that just talks about that. I sing praises to your name. And if you know what you sing along with me, and if you don't, you'll learn it by the time I get through. I sing praises to your name. Praises to you. 
songs. I grew up uh, singing them, and I, I just don't think there's, a, there's anything that takes their place, and I like those. And, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you at Cove Hill tonight. Uh, kind of had a busy day today. I was at Watch Run this morning. We had a good service there, and I appreciate Brother Joe inviting me to come uh, over to your church tonight uh, to share uh, what the Lord means uh, to me uh, through music. I thank you all for coming out, and uh, I'm going to try to have you out no later than 10 o'clock tonight, I promise you. I'll be wrapped up with them, and, uh, and I won't keep you uh, that long. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, I, I guarantee you that uh, you'll be leaving uh, uh, hey, before uh, 10 o'clock. Hey, don't forget Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Foggy Mountain Breakdown? Yes. <laughs> Where did you come up with that? You played it before. Oh, I did? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Brother Joe won't shoot me. Maybe at the end of the service, we'll... Turn the uh, Foggy Mountain Breakdown loose uh, for you. <laughs> Everybody always asks me, well, what kind of music uh, do you do? And I like uh, pretty much all Christian music, uh, except uh, Christian rap. I'm just not real crazy about that. And if you like Christian rap, I'm not your guy. But uh, but I love uh, I love the old hymns of the church, and I love Southern gospel music, a little bluegrass gospel music, and I, I like all of those. And I love uh, Southern gospel music uh, as well. And grew up singing a lot of that, and I was actually in a, a Southern Gospel Quartet. Some of you might remember a group called the Noble, and I, I played and sang for that group for about eight years, and uh, I enjoyed doing that, and we did a lot of old, good old Southern Gospel uh, music, and I like that as well. And, and one of my favorite uh, uh, Southern Gospel Christian artists uh, was a fellow by the name of Squire Parsons. Anybody ever heard of Squire Parsons? He was a great singer and songwriter. Still he is. He's still living today. And I want to do uh, for you. I haven't done this song in a long time, so I hope I can remember the words to it. But, uh, you know, as I get older, I like to sing songs about heaven. Because I'm looking forward to heaven, aren't you? You know, I know that I've got fewer days ahead of me than I have behind me. And I know that in my life. And one of these days, soon, uh, if, if Jesus does not come back before, uh, you know, I'm going to see him uh, face to face. And I just want him to say, well done, you know. Good and faithful servant, you have kept the faith, and you have finished uh, the race. And and this is uh, one of my favorite Squire uh, Parsons songs, and it talks uh, just simply about heaven. And I think you've probably heard it before. It's called Beautiful Land. Oh, 
Hymn number 335, Standing on the Promises of Christ my King. That's just good old hymn that we sing in our churches. And I'm going to ask you, invite you to make the big Cove Hill Baptist Church choir tonight and sing that song with me. We all do that with me? And I tell you what, you can't sing about standing on the promises when you're sitting on the premises. So you people that have been sleeping, y'all got to wake up for a minute. And uh, I'm going to ask you to stand up and uh, sing this with me. Everybody ready to go? Hymn number 335. All right, here we go. Everybody stretch real good. Here we go. Standing on the promise.
did pretty good except for that last note. I don't know what happened to you. Y'all just kind of dropped out on me on that. But I tell you what, if you'll do some of these aerobic breathing exercises, you'll be able to sing louder and sing harder and work longer, and you'll be able to do that. So y'all practice on that. When I come back again, maybe next year, maybe y'all have that down where you can hold that note out a little bit more. You know, I was uh, doing a homecoming service in western Kentucky in, in Muhlenberg County a couple of years ago and I did that and it just happened that uh, they had a visiting preacher that was going to preach uh, right after I got through singing. I did an hour concert and then he was going to preach and uh, I did that. He happened to be sitting, his name was uh, uh, Jeremy Jessup uh, from Dunn Missionary Baptist Church uh, around Dawson Springs and uh, he was sitting right behind my wife and when I did that, uh, you know, he, he looked at her and he said, ma'am, does he have three lungs? And she said, no, he's just got two, but he's got a lot of hot air with the two that he's got. So, but I appreciate you singing that uh, with me tonight. You know, we, uh, we serve a God that not only keeps his promises, but we serve a great God, do we not? We serve a God that is bigger than any, any problems uh, that we have. I tell people all the time not, not to uh, tell uh, God how big our problems are, but we need to uh, tell our problems just how big our God is because he is all sufficient. He can take care of me. I rely on him to take care of me because he can do a better job of that than I can do. I, I laugh at these, uh, I like bumper stickers. I don't know about you, but I don't know if you've ever looked at them or not, but there's one that says, God is my co-pilot. Have you ever seen that? Well, I think that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen because I don't want him to be my co-pilot. You know what? I want him to be my pilot because he's better at piloting the ship than I am. I just want to be a passenger along for the ride because he's a whole lot better at doing that than I am. And so we serve a, a great God, and I'm thankful for that tonight. And I want to do a song for you uh, tonight that, uh, you know, I like Chris Tomlin's music. And uh, I don't do a lot of contemporary praise and worship, but I do a little bit. And this is one of his, one of his first songs that he ever came out with. It's one of my favorite ones because it just talks about how great our God is. And, uh, it's called How Great Is Our God, and you know what you sing it along with me tonight.
we serve a great God, don't we? How great thou art. And I'm thankful to be a child of his tonight. And you know, I've got some good news for you tonight. You know, that same great God is coming again. Amen. Amen. You know, one of these days, that eastern sky is going to split wide open. And those of us who have been bought by the blood of Jesus are going to rise up uh, to meet him in the air. And uh, I know that you know this song. This is a good old toe-tapping southern gospel song. And it's called Some Glad Morning When This Life Is Over. We're going to fly away. Here we go. Feeling that uh, you know when we 
as Christians, when we accept uh, Christ as Lord and Savior, our faith ought to be the strongest when we are in the deepest valleys that we are in. You know, it's, it's easy to say praise the Lord when uh, everything is going well, isn't it? When your uh, bank account is uh, up and your blood pressure's down and, and everything is just, everything is hunky-dory. You know, it's easy uh, for our faith to be strong during those times. But what, what about those times that we are tested, where we're put to the test? Maybe, uh, you know, we have problems in our marriage or maybe even lost a job. Or maybe you get that diagnosis from your doctor that you've been dreading that you didn't want to hear. It could be any of those things. You know, I believe that is the time that our faith uh, should shine. And I think that is the time in our lives where we can show our neighbors and our friends and our coworkers and those that we go to, uh, to school with that we have a God in heaven that cares for us, that loves us, and will take care of us of us no matter what we're going through. That's the kind of faith that I want to have. Uh, one of my favorite uh, country uh, comedians uh, was Jerry Clower. Any of you ever heard of him? You know, I like Jerry Clower. And uh, he always had a lot of funny, uh, uh, funny stories on his albums. And uh, one such, uh, but on his albums, he always at least had one serious uh, story. And this is one such story. A story is told that uh, he and his wife had gone to sleep one night, and about midnight his phone rang, and uh, it was his neighbor down the road, and she said, Mr. Clower, your son Ray has in, been involved in a very serious automobile accident, and we cannot wake him up. And uh, it doesn't look good. The ambulance is taking him to the hospital, and I'd suggest that you and your wife get, get up, get dressed, and head to the hospital as fast as you can which they did, they got down there and the surgeon uh, came out for a moment and said, uh, Mr. Clower, your son is in surgery right now and he's been seriously injured and it does not look good, but we'll keep you updated. And then at that time, uh, Jerry uh, in that hospital waiting room just got on his knees right there in the waiting room. And this is what he said. He said, Lord, he said, if my son Ray lives, I'm gonna praise your holy name. But he went on to say, if my son dies, I'm going to praise your holy name. And isn't that the kind of faith that we should have? What kind of strong faith would it take that in the midst of a crisis like that, you can still have faith and still love the Lord and still trust Him uh, with the lives of those who we care about? And so... I like that story because it, it speaks to the kind of faith that he had and also the kind of faith that we should have as Christians. And as this song says, um, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrow like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, what? It is well, it is well with my soul. Can we say that tonight? Whatever my life, that just simply means whatever happens, whatever happens in our life, we can say because we have Jesus as our Lord and Savior, it is well with my soul. I want to invite you to sing that with me tonight. It is well with my soul.
we can say, it is well, it is well with our souls tonight because we know Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Well, I told you I listened to uh, a lot of different kinds of uh, uh, music, gospel music, and I guess it was probably about uh, um, 17 or 18 years ago I was driving down the road and uh, I heard this song and I said, man, I want to do this one in church. And uh, didn't know how it would go over and uh, and so I uh, later found out it went to number one on the, on the country chart, but it went to the top ten on the gospel charts. And I decided it was safe for me to go ahead and do it in, on church. And it's a song in church, and it's a song that talks about sin. It talks about temptation. And uh, and it was by a young man by the name of Josh Turner. Anybody ever heard of him? And uh, I want to do a song for you that was the very first song that Josh Turner uh, charted. And it's called The Long Black Train. It goes like this. Souls that are lost and die Rails of sin 
You know, when, when Jesus uh, was put on that cross, don't you know the devil was having a party? And he thought he'd won because Jesus died on that cross. But you know what? They took him off the cross and they put him in a barred tomb. And you know why it was a barred tomb? Because he planned on giving it back. He wasn't going to need it. And after three days, he came out of that tomb. And after a time here on earth, he ascended to his Father in heaven where he sits in his right hand today, making intercession for you and me. I'm thankful that we've got an advocate in the, the Son of God, Jesus Christ himself. And I'm thankful for that tonight. And, you know, uh, there was no grave that could hold our Lord and Savior. And, you know, there's not going to be a grave that's going to be able to hold me either. Because uh, one of these days, uh, uh, after I die and Jesus comes again, I'm going to come out of that grave. And uh, and I'm, I'm going to just uh, rise up. I'm going to meet him in the air. I'm looking forward to that time. And... Uh, like I said, there wasn't no grave that can hold Jesus. No grave is going to be able to hold me either. And so I'm going to uh, kind of close with this song. And then I'm going to do, Brother Joe, if it's all right, I'm going to do an invitation as well. That's okay. And, uh, and, and I might, uh, you might make your way up if you don't mind during the invitation if it's all right. But this is one of my favorite songs to do. It's called Ain't No Grave Gonna Hold My Body Down.
you so much for allowing me to come and be here with you tonight. And I never want to close a, a service that uh, I'm just about on time, but I never want to close a service that uh, I don't want to offer uh, an invitation. And, uh, you know, I don't know where you are tonight in, in your walk with the Lord. Maybe you're here tonight and you've never accepted him as Lord and Savior. I, but I kind of believe I'm preaching to the choir tonight. Uh, I just go out on a limb and say just about everybody in here is saved. But if you're not, I'd invite you to come down and take Brother Joe's hand. And he can, uh, he can uh, take you down the Roman road and he can tell you uh, exactly how you can have what the rest of us have. How you can come to know the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. And I'd invite you to do that. Or maybe you're here tonight and, uh, and uh, you, know, you accepted Jesus long ago. But maybe you're just not walking with him as close as you once did. I can tell you that uh, if that is the case... God did not move. It's us that move away from Him. And so if you just want to come down here tonight and rededicate your life, you can do that. Maybe you've got a family member or an unspoken request tonight, somebody, a co-worker uh, that you're praying for, for salvation. Maybe you just want to come down here and just kneel uh, at this altar here tonight. And maybe you want to do that. And uh, you can do that as well. And you can pray and nobody will bother you. You can just come down and pray for yourself. Or pray for someone else. Or, or maybe you're here tonight and you're not a member of Cove Hill Baptist Church. And uh, you feel this is where you would have the Lord uh, serve. Brother Joe, do y'all still take new members here? Yes, sir. You do. All right. You heard it from the man himself. He takes new members here. And so if you feel this is where you, uh, uh, the Lord would have you serve, you just come down and take the pastor's hand. And, uh, and you can do that. Uh, you can do that as well. I'm going to do uh, just, I don't believe in long invitations. I believe if, if God is working on you on the very first note of the very first song, you're going to be out of that pew and you're going to be down here. So I'm just going to do a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, uh, stanzas of Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone. And so I'm going to invite you, if you would, uh, would you stand with us uh, tonight? Would you stand? Would you sing as you come tonight? And whatever uh, the Lord has laid on your heart, you just feel free to do that tonight.
And I know that everywhere he goes, there's a blessing shared. And he has blessed us tonight with his talents and God has given. Amen. I'm going to have a word of invitation and then we, uh, word of prayer and then we'll have a uh, be dismissed. Okay? Let's bow. Most gracious Heavenly Father, again, we are so blessed to be able to come here tonight. To be with this woman you have, you have talented, give the talents to come and share your word and come. To be a minister, Father, and have the ability to go and share it with many places. And Father, tonight we just ask that you encourage each and every one of us to continue to continue to serve and, and spread your word wherever we go, every opportunity that we have. And Father, just watch over us as we leave this place. Keep us safe, Father. And bring us back again that when we, the time comes for us to come and sing praises to your name and study your word. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.